What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Woo. Nylon for five minutes. Whoa, we are too hot in the business. Woo. About to make a movie independent. Woo. Be iconic and subscribe on YouTube. About to make a movie independent. Woo. Need new trucks independent. Woo. I need you to listen to the vision. Woo. All your verses sound like dirty dishes. I'm a Please subscribe and enjoy today's video. Thank you, the leaders. Like cold showers. I'm Angela from Leader Life Fitness, and today we're going to talk about biohacking through cold water therapy to increase your health. Oh, hi, I'm Jeff from Leader Life Fitness, and we're about to biohack your body right now. So let's go. Today, our first topic is cold water therapy. We're going to challenge you to step out of your comfort zone. And into the cold water. I started doing cold water therapy about three years ago when I was introduced to the Wim Hof method. Summer or winter, I start my mornings with a cold shower. Usually 30 seconds to a minute. I'll bring my head right into it and just let the water soak in. Uh, my brain feels a little cold. It's something hard to do, especially in the morning, especially in the winter. But you know what? It sets yourself up, set yourself up for success. Um, it's a hard challenge to do but you feel great right after. And we'll start with the first benefit, increasing your endorphins. Endorphins are feel-good feelings, um, and it comes from a chemical called norepinephrine, which they call the feel-good feeling in your body. Um, it usually happens when you do something very hard. You hear about endorphins in running, um, fitness, cold shower works just as well. It's something very hard. And the heart stuff is where you get the most bang for your buck in your body. The next benefit cold showers do is it stimulates your immune system. Um, our first layer of defense is our skin. So when our body gets uh, used to having cold temperatures, it can fight off the same thing if you're outside and you have less clothing on, or you're touching something, a doorknob, or you're on the train and you're uh, touching the seat, which also makes your body stronger and more in tune for any other type of real illnesses or stressors, like a cold or a flu or any type of virus, your body's more prepared, um, it's had other stresses before, and like that, it's just gonna knock it out of the park. Taking a cold shower is hard. Nobody wants to do it. You're getting very out of your comfort zone. I don't ever wanna take a cold shower, and I do it every day. Every day I contemplate it, I turn that knob left, take a deep breath, try to stay as relaxed as I can, Every time I do it, I feel great after. Especially the longer I go in, the more I've conquered something. And I know hormonally, it's providing different chemicals in your body. So starting your day off with something hard, or starting your day with a cold shower, or the middle of the day, it can really reset your whole mindset, change your mood. Another benefit with cold showers is it boosts metabolism. Like I said, our bodies are about 98.6 degrees in temperature. When you're exposing your body and skin to cold temps, um, our immune system gets built back up and our body wants to rev back up to that same 98.6 degrees because our body always wants to go to homeostasis. Taking that cold shower is going to burn more calories, boost your metabolism, get you a little more healthier, and you didn't even hit the gym yet. One of the final benefits it does, it tightens up your skin. You see this beautiful face right here, very tight skin, and I'm not just being honest, I get a lot of compliments on it, even though I'm hiding it with this beard. Cold showers do tighten up your skin, it tightens up your pores, um, things like that. And you'll always hear people talk about that. So if you want beautiful radiant skin, just like this guy, cold showers is where it's at. Depression, studies show that depression affects about 10% of the population. You can go with seasonal depression from the winter or less sun, especially if you're in New York City in the winter. You hear a lot of people get seasonal depression. I think it affects a little more than 10% of the people, especially uh, acutely. Every once in a while, people are down. This is another way to boost those hormones, those good feeling hormones in your body. One of the major ones being norepinephrine, which is the feel good hormone, which correlates with alertness, clarity, well being, optimism, and energy. Whenever you take a cold shower, you're gonna feel a boost, a surge of good, positive energy. You completed something that was very hard, which can propel you to the next phase, let's say you're going to exercise, or you're going to a meeting, 
or you're starting your morning routine or you're starting your morning at work. Whenever you can elevate your mood any type of way, you have to take it. Especially in today's society with so much stress going on, you need to do something that's gonna benefit yourself. You can't rely on outside sources, things change, you need to take control of you. So we're gonna talk about cold water and how it can help raise your metabolism and also make your metabolism a little more efficient. So whenever we have a cold shock to our system, cold water or we're taking an ice bath, our body's temperature drops, which our body needs to accelerate to get our body back to heat, back to homeostasis. And when you're in anything cold, all the blood flow really traps your organs. So you may notice your fingers cold, your feet cold. Your body wants to uh, keep its organs intact first. The most important things in your body are your organs. So your body's gonna heat those up first and everything else will rejuvenate in second, which is really important in getting a lot of blood flow into those internal organs. If you want fresh, newer, healthier organs, this is a great way to go. When you're taking cold showers, people don't know this, but you're actually burning off brown fat. Now brown fat activates deep into the abdominal wall with your adipose tissue. Um, it's actually something that keeps babies warm and keep them from getting hypothermia. Brown fat has a lot of mitochondria, which are the cells that work in your body around all your fat cells. And you want to get those as efficient and as active as possible. This is Jeff from Leader Life Fitness, and I want to talk about one of my favorite supplements and supplement lines by Elemental Wisdom called Libido Tea. Elemental Wisdom only uses quality ingredients, organic materials, and it's something that I really could recommend to my clients patients and people that I coach. I've been using libido tea for about a few months now. I noticed right away increased energy um, and not just sexually but uh, energy as far as drive and that's what your libido really is. It's not so much a sexual thing but it's more for drive, performance, um, anything you want to get in life it gives you a little more passion. To so I highly recommend Libido Tea and giving it a try and the other great products from Elemental Wisdom. Give those guys a try and use code LEADER15, L-E-A-D-E-R-1-5 to save 15% off of anything there. See you guys. Another great benefit of cold water therapy or hydrotherapy is your gastrointestinal tract or your GI tract. Um, which is basically our intestinal wall here. Especially nowadays where bad food is so prevalent and GMO food, a lot of chemicals, that bad bacteria sits a little more into the stomach, which makes your body more acidic and lowers your pH level. Our pH levels are very important to our body. There's alkaline here, there's basic here, and there's acidic. Our body wants to stay a little more into the middle, maybe a little more towards seven and a half, when we eat bad foods, refined foods, very sugary foods, we create more bad bacteria and our pH level actually gets lower. It gets more acidic, which causes a lot of harm in our body, which could be ulcers, which could be GI distress, which could be bad chemicals in your body um, that could lead up to increased cancer. And we wanna make sure we min minimize those risks as much as possible. So even when we're doing cold water therapy, especially in our gut lining, our, our pH level is going to increase, which is going to make it better, which is going to make it more alkaline. And that's something you really need in these days. Let that water rinse onto your stomach for a few minutes, feel it getting cold. I can notice right away my body getting a little colder, sending good blood flow, healthy new blood into my stomach. And that's really important for bad bacteria. We want to get our body more alkaline and as basic as possible. Whenever we're taking cold showers, uh, it forces us to get better circulation through our whole body. Our bodies are made of bacteria and chemicals. Um, before we started as these multi cell organisms, we were used to complete hot, hot, like acidic, which we still have in our body, our bile, if you feel like you're throwing up. Whenever we're taking these cold showers, uh, our circulation of our body kind of stops our, our organs, everything gets very cold, and then new fresh blood uh, fires everywhere different cells, more cells, more mitochondria, which makes our body way more efficient 
at anything, at heating up, at cooling down, at if you have bad bacteria, pushing it out. If you're super cold, your body will be able to stay warmer faster. If you're super hot, your body will be able to cool down a little faster. We want our body to be as efficient as possible. There's so many things that we're constantly not exposed to that can make us so much better. And this is one of the challenges that you need to take on to really reap those benefits of circulation in your blood, body, injuries. Which brings us to our last topic, sickness. Your body is exposed to a lot of different viruses, a lot of bacteria, especially uh, if you're always touching things. We want our first layer of defense, our skin, our epidermis, to be bulletproof. So by doing this cold water therapy, our skin is the first point of protection. If our skin gets better, it gets tighter, other bad bacteria aren't gonna get there, other viruses aren't gonna get there, so it will help our immunity tenfold. It also increases the production of leukocytes. Leukocytes help with our immunity. Uh, they're cells that disrupt viruses, disease, or foreign cells that aren't used to being in our body. These are the first line of defense into our body that rapidly produces as we take cold showers. So we wanna build up more and more of these, which makes us stronger, more stress resistant, and that is why cold showers are so important as our first and second line of defense, and this can really boost up your immunity, get you never getting sick, you're always healthy. Wrap up everything, cold showers are so important, they do so many benefits to our body. Again, you wanna make that cold temperature below 70 degrees, and some of the benefits of these are increasing your endorphins, your feel-good hormones in your body, like norepinephrine, stimulates your immune system, which will fight against the common cold, against viruses. Your skin gets the first layer of protection in your body. It acts as an antidepressant hormone, and that's so prevalent today. So doing that will help so much. It also boosts up your metabolism, increases your immunity, so you won't get sick, better circulation throughout your whole body, You'll be looking better with this clear skin. And I recommend you guys doing this every morning, if you can, or every day, starting with ending your shower with 30 seconds of cold water to next week starting your day off with 30 seconds of a cold shower, ending with 30 seconds to one minute of a cold shower, to a two minute cold shower, to a 10 minute cold shower, to taking an ice bath, to go in the freezing Arctic Ocean when it's winter, Get your body so immune to any different stress. It may feel a little uncomfortable at first. The good things always do. So guys, again, start this off strong. It's 2020, the time is now. Let's get super healthy. Let's lead your life because you guys are leaders and you want to live as long as you can.